defensive side, they're already up into spawn. Version one's been read into. 100% red here. JMO leaving heaven is going to dodge out on the paranoia. Find another frag. Looking for the next frenzy spray. Going to go wide, but Scuba is there to back him up and pushing through B main was whippy. Unfortunately, remains. not long for this world as a piss around. Seems to go the way and will go the way of tricks. But look at your minimap there. There's again aggression out from A main. And Whippy, he could be in for a treat here. Yeah, well, Whippy. Unfortunately gonna fall there and it's Scourge in for a treat. Not only finding a frag, but a weapon upgrade there. And it was probably on that Viper that that weapon went to. Inside the dark cover though, JMO finds two before being traded back. So overall, KCP still a player ahead in Effies. Worse for wear here is gonna use that healing orb on himself. Vanity comes to back things up, make Last things even, game. but... Oh no, okay, Vanity's able to find another. Look, there's a 1v1 set up here. He kills Vanity, he opens this round up, he'll find the frag. Trying to do so. Scourge, pressure's on him to keep this going. And now, forgive me for not paying attention to this like I should have been, but Scourge has the paint shells online. I'm not too sure if he used those at the beginning of the round, then found that first kill onto Whippy, and then that second kill on Vanity allows the paint shells to be back online. Well. I say that and Scourge just toss him out anyways. And I say that's a, a huge tool to have. It looks like Scourge is using it to clear out every single angle possible. Is that spike planted for heaven? Scourge looking to take the fight in heaven. It's 98 HP on FPs. And there it is. The clutch. You secure this round. Whereas if you lose this one, if you're KCP, your economy, it goes to crud. And B1 look to find a round lead 3-2. to two. Not going to be the case, though. Vanity first off the table due to the operator. Penny going to steal one back. Scourge to fall. Now, this is just around the corner. Guiding light. Paint shells go through. And Effie's able to find the frag. Either way, as the wall goes up to stop a push through ropes. JMO going to be holding a tight angle again. And we know just how strong he can be here. Shots through the wall. JMO chipped away at 34 health. Has to back away in the A site. Slowly being opened up. There's a pinch. But it's a long shot. It's Odorous. It's JMO. They need to work together. And JMO might just be saving the op. Thief. Oh, they're not looking back to oh. back with the adjustment in time. Odorous did get one in the meanwhile, but it's... completely concede the site. Uh, and it's interesting. Obviously, it's hard to fight through that screen. You could just take some shots, but maybe you don't find something. Maybe you do. But it's the, it's the change up in the wall. This wall says, hey, we want to go right onto the site. We're not looking to fight for heaven. We're looking to give that one up and pass on by it. Now, with that, the site conceded... A Viper's Pit makes his 4-4 retake a lot less doable here for KCPs. Gamo goes wide on the shot through the five hole there of Penny. The paint shells going to push back in heaven. I think we might just see another save here, Mimi. I wouldn't hate the call, although they're also going to start being desperate for round scuba. They can play forward here trying to get something done, but that hit is always going to be so difficult. Hit goes down. Scourge finds another thief is there to trade it. The Empress is on. It's a 3k for the Reina. Make it four. As the last one standing, Odorous finds the Operator. Will look to back away. The swing comes around the corner. The 1 HP Penny will go down. Thief survives. Back here again. It's four Sheriffs and an Operator on the side of KCP. The name of the game this round is damage. Obviously, you love the win, but when the op shot goes wide, you don't have a whole lot going for you. Scuba looks to pick that one up. The Guiding Light going to find the Flash. Physic and Scuba actually able to find the kills as they push onto the side. Effies trades one back in a 3v3 we go, but weapons now available to KCP, which means this round could really go either way. There's always an alternate plan for V1. Whippy was never part of that initial play in towards B. They have him lurking up, but Effie's not checking the man up forward. It's awkward. Effie's does win it out. Crucially, if he falls there, it's another gun in the possession of KP, left. KCP, and it opens up this retake, but there is still two weapons. There's a showstopper. This is doable. And a cosmic divide if you're afraid of, you know, some of the angles that they might be lurking in for version one. Just cosmic divided off as KCP and... Look to push on yourselves. Whippy crouches out. The crab walk able to find the kill onto Scuba. Now it's Scourge with all of the utility available. Low HP, but unfortunately Vanity to any of them in these series that can be or are close series. And speaking of close calls, Physic tries to sneak away. Not able to do so. Showstopper off the back end. Penny nets a second. That's the operator down another 4,700 credit investment. Falls by the wayside as Scuba goes wide on the shots there. Penny for a third. FPs able to get it on the side. And Scourge gets one with the alt. Odorous now needs to get the remaining three. Make it four on the round, but can't do it. It's Vanity. His Vanity reloading. Will be able to escape only for a second at Scuba. 
to close things out. The spike is down, the knives are on, and J-Mo could be the turning tides here on the round. And the grab well is FDs, but he finds a frag, rips the jet out of the sky. Now Scuba, the last one standing in a 1v2, low HP, but the first target low as well. But it's FDs once more out on top. It's a full defense here in the post plant. Planted. There's still someone flying out towards mid. This time it's Vanity alone. Keep your eyes on him because the late round lurk could go huge. Cosmic Divide committed. That sells if they're going for this retake. The Viper already clearing out towards main and JMO trying to find a shot. It doesn't connect. Now timing becomes a factor. And Odorous kind of cut off by this ultimate here. So trying to work together. JMO smart enough though that Vanity might be lurking out towards mid. A couple of kills traded back and forth, but it's still version one on top. And on the trot with just the sheriff. Hopes aren't high. Ooh, and shots wide, gonna give up the position, but Odorous still manages to find two before falling. So a favorable trade, a couple more favorable trades, and oh my! All four alive here is Odorous. left. This has to be the final decision, and you can see the stars are up. That can buy so much time for KC. Oh, and it slows Penny down with a showstopper. It allows the position change. A scuba picks up two. Epi's there, traded back with the ticking off the table as Steve grabs one. Ticking down is the clock. Spike needs to get planted, but it's J-Mo to close things out. KCP, they battle back way with his life, and now playing incredibly safe as they don't give up anything. It's still three players over towards, oh my goodness, Penny, Whippy, everybody coming alive here. Thief, the only one who doesn't have his hand in the cookie jar just yet as Physic looks to push up. Guiding light, nice little pop flash there. Not going to get spotted just yet and finds the first frag. Scourge, meanwhile, on the flank. But unfortunately, I would imagine the utility they have in this round. Anything brought over from the last. Odorous able to pick one up. Deep gets a couple back. Didn't grab a whole lot in the last round. Now looking to get his hand in the jar. Two kills. Looking for some more. He hops around the corner, finds a third. And the low HP on J-Mo. The 360, the right click. Making sure nobody pushes the wall there. Going to make sure, you know, Vanity, at the very least, isn't coming from ropes or sewers as well. We always know a player on the lurk. It's Penny to go on the aggressive. Trying to take the fight right to Odorous. The first frag swings the way of the Viper. Now looking for more. Viper v. Viper. Odorous on top. Looking for more. Finds a third. Odorous single-handedly. Securing this round for KCP as Physic and JMO gonna scoop up the last couple of kills. KC Squad, whereas KCP, they've been grinding the lower level tournaments. They've been doing well in them, and well, now this is a quick look in towards a V1. Initially, though, gunning down to B, still holding on to the high ground. Disrespectful of the Viper utility. Heaven control, still something that the Pioneers are looking for here. And Penny, being gunned down by Physic, opens that opportunity up. The two kills early in the round for version one traded back. Steve finds it through the box here. Looks like elbow control, the name of the game. And Effie's, and this is, there's no better player to have in a situation like this. Spotted out, guiding light, gonna find the flash. Effie's backs away, maybe gives up a bit too much. The Vandal shots go wide. It's gonna take a double dink from the Sage from this distance to close things out on the round as Effie's drops. Contact, find the information. The guiding light might just give it away. And now the stack can really come to fruition. Thief ready for the first spam shots. Missing, but it's with oh. to come alive. Showstopper misses, but if I just face buys in time. Scourge gets one, but Whippy just still dealing damage. Out from hell, it's no problem. Just look at the time, 20 seconds. You need to find the site with D1 fully on board. The drop down works against Fizzy. It's Penny to pick it up, and they, they, they were always ready for that play. Yeah, and again, the, kind of the problem, we are looking to do something a bit different here. A little bit lower on the arsenal. They've got four rifles and a stinger. They're trying to stay alive. There's the stinger down. Is the Viper's pit used? Penny's able to find a second. Physic trades it back. Gets sat down almost immediately. It's a 2v3 situation. Scuba lower on HP due to the decay. We'll heal back up, but not completely topped off. A 3v2. The spike down in an awkward spot as Cosmic Divide used. The stars go down. And J-Mo looking to shut down the retake. Now in a 1v2. Make it a 1v1. It's Effies. It's Scuba. It's a different look, but it's still Effies. Is this going to be enough? Who better in a situation like this as Scuba looks to hang on to KCP's lock? Take this one nice and quick. Penny, you queue up the wall. It is going to go up top. Oh, wall for wall, though, is J-Mo. Maybe getting a read on this play able to match the height now it's all up to effies in the back side shock darts go through backstab as well as scuba secures the kill it's three quick here in the pistol make it a fourth as deep 
The last one standing and a flawless round for that wall up. Ooh, wall to go over the top. They're just gonna ride the barrier orbs there to make it on over. Looking to take the fight right to him. It's a frenzy in hand. A scourge. Able to find one. There's the running gun. The Spectre. Still able to come out on top. Penny will fall. The one for one trade. As Vanity Whippy find a couple of more and well closing out the round is weird like that, which I think adds a, a new dynamic here to ascent as the Leer goes through and he tries to escape, is able to do so inside the nebula smoke. They go wall for wall. As Penny finds one, finds the spike carrier and scuba. Scourge is there to trade it back and wants some more, but can't find the shots up towards heaven just yet. A 3v3 now. That spike is down on the ground. It has since been retrieved. And JMO will look to get it down. Now, oh, no, gonna hang on for a second. We'll be one pip away from the resurrection. And speaking of pips, Odorous might get a couple here. Slowly lurking up here. Gonna make his way through glass. It's already broken, as is the damage there. Shattered is the armor of version one. As Effie's the last one standing. Odin in hand with light shields. Like possibly forced to back away. And B1's fully aware. Rotate's being made. And look at the spam. This could shut it all down. 10 seconds to get this spike on the floor. Has to get the spike down. Now Effie's the last one on the side of the spike. Slowly moved up to it. Should be able to find the kill. No, JMO is able to sit him down, but not before Effie's finds three. It's only JMO standing as he faked the spike to go for some extra kills. A resurrection get a player back. Things. Obviously, you're not looking at an operator. Tailwind as back pocket play. Vanity gonna pick up one. Will be traded out by Scuba as the B split. Now gonna come on through, and everybody starts to rotate over. Effie. Also, the Operator, Penny, falls to the Lurk here, and Scourge looking to get some more, will find it! Leaving it all up to Whippy, who unfortunately can't push through the Defender-sided spawn as that wall goes up. Now needs to find four players. He can that ultimate comes back. It's gonna be killed out. Lockdown for lockdown, though. Alt for alt. So 3v3 on the side still might just ensue. The Bulldog not able to find the damage just yet. Vanity forced to back away as Penny was there. Try and send some. The gravity well looks to pull out toward generator. Not gonna find anything. Thief has the running back available, but in a tough spot to use it. Now can't use it at all. Scuba finds the first frag onto the site. Empress is on for Scourge, looking for some extra damage. And it's Penny to come out on top. JMO still able to trade kills. 10 seconds on the clock as the spike gets planted. Vanity stuck under heaven. Bots out the shoulder. Scuba with all the information. Vanity with very little as Odorous hops down. It's all up to Effies once more. We might just find ourselves in another Odin save. The economy already looked rough in the last. Now it might just be a whole lot more rough for Scuba. No, not. That's actually a bounce off the shock darts. Not gonna find anything just yet as Odorous able to find walled off. So won't get the lurk that he's hoping for. Can still go through mid, but it's opting into taking the long way around as the shock darts go through. The spike planted on the A site. Version one slowly bringing up the rear. In terms of numbers, the two players stuck out towards B are starting to get back in. Cosmic Divide going to slow things down for a second, but it does allow the door to be destroyed. Thief still sitting on the run it back. Is going to use it here. Looking to run through. Hunter's Fury finds a tag, finds a kill. Jamo's going to get one. It's a two for two, but Vanity slowly starts to swing the odds in favor as that Hunter's Fury gets queued up. Physic looking to find something as here comes the Lurk. It's looking to get the value, but now in a 1v2, what more can Physic get done? Has to send out the shock darts. Find the first, the second, looking to land, but won't do it in time. It's Ver. To try and slow this down. Wall goes up. Dark cover, trying to slow things for a second. Scourge and just about everybody else taking a bit of damage as they look to get on the site. The spike surely will be planted here as Vanity looks to swing out. Nice nano swarm, not gonna find anything out towards Switch. Actually, it's staying alive as Physic there, dodging out on the utility so that uh, Killjoy gets absolutely nothing thus far. As I say it, Whippy is able to use the rifle instead of the utility. Only gonna go for one for one as JMO continues to find frags with the operator. A 2v2 situation. It's Penny, it's Effie's, it's JMO. Frenzy able to take down the recon. Both Effie's maybe showing just a bit too much. A scuba. Wary of the backstab. JMO has a position out towards heaven. And again, wary of the backstab. Wall goes up hard to take down. Effie's looking to swing. Effie's will fall. No, excuse me. Penny will fall. And Effie's, well, I guess I kind of told the future there. JMO close. Committed in towards Catwalk. This does look to be the final decision. V1 forced to back away. And this is tough because they're thinking it might be a fake. So you saw the kill you saw. Ooh, the Soba Steve stays alive on the site. Able to trade one kill back. It's two for two. As we go across, slowly Whippy and Effie is going to be bringing up the rear. There's the defender side of lockdown. It wasn't traded out earlier. No way Whippy finds that kill onto Scourge. A missed opportunity 
for the Reina. Escuba looks to go on the flank. The op shot still gonna land around the corners. Effies will dance and find the frag. The op shot, the quick scope. Speaking of that, gonna be the alarm bot. Ring in true to give up the information as the door's not closed. Thief eyes on the opposite side of the map. So four players only here for version one as they try and take this B site. Paranoia goes through. Oh my god, Jamo still found the kill. Looking for more. It's Epi straight back. Odorous out towards the boathouse. Slow health on vanity. Could be another kill as the spike goes to get planted. It is just that. Another kill swings the way of KCP as the reload comes through. It's six health. Separating Whippy from death. You don't have a whole lot to write home about. It was vulnerability on Scuba. Here once more, Scourge. Very low as well. And they might just, yep, wall up to try and take the fight. That they do, but Scuba, they chip away at the wall immediately and trade a kill back. It's a two for two at the end of the day, but a heads up play by KCP makes things even. Now, Whippy on the opposite side of the map is trying to gather as much information as possible and... Well, gives himself up with the peak. Good on Odorous to not blow any of that utility just yet. Yeah, Odorous is very much an anchor here. He's always been tucked in towards B, and now it's just him. He's make or break with only 15 seconds left. Nice shots from JMO. Able to net another kill. The only lesser weapon here on the side of KCP. That spike needs to get planted once more, but it's going to fall on the side. Penny now looking to get it all done here. And, well, Scuba... He's able to play the clock the sheriffs can be. You need to find the right angles, just as JMO did for two. Effies is able to trade it back, but now it's all up to Effies. And Resurrection, they can bring Odorous back into this one. That'll allow the lockdown to come back in towards play, as well as the Cosmic Divide. Lots in their favor here. But again, it's a matter of time. How quickly can they get this done? KCP now working against the clock once more, this time on the defensive end of things. As Penny will be vulnerable. He finds one, just popping the grapes. will find another two huge kills before being traded back. Version 1 still a player ahead as a Nano Swarm. Gonna push Scuba right into the welcome arms of Penny as the kill gets traded. Another Nano Swarm to buy the time. Scourge was able to find a kill last time. But will he be able to find the clutch here as the shock darts go through? It look needs to grab the value, and everybody looking to scoot away from this one. As J-Mo gonna send it right back, takes the damage, but will heal it up. Penny on the opposite end of things, able to find a couple of kills. The first entry onto Scuba. Penny will find another as Physic trades back a kill. Scourge is able to get on the leaderboard as well. That kill feed, I should say, is a 3v2 now as that spike goes down. It's off the back end once more of an ultimate. At version 1, try and find their 8th rep. All the follow, paranoia, all the flashes, all the near sights, all the everything. Toss that at this team. But inside the dark cover, Scuba will wait. He'll push on through. He'll find the first. Looking for the next. And Vanity stuck between a rock and a hard place. As Odorous on the flank. Now three remain here for version 1. As Penny takes down the recon bolt. No information given up just yet. Those bodies way too far. Way too out of reach. Now they need to come up clutch. Who's got the clutch factor here for version one? It's Penny to find two. Looking for more. Still very healthy as he finds another. It's a 2v2. Whippy stuck out towards main. Stuck in wine. The shock darts go through. The shots are on top. So strong out of this squad. And well, we you just got to hand it to Penny there because he finds enough frags. He finds enough time to make those shock darts doable to close out the round. KCP for them. Now this aggression towards B has been successful. Now these kind of mid-round hits have been good. And V1, they've read the aggression. Whippy's there. Whippy's ready to shut it down. The mm. trade does come through out of Odorous. So maybe a gun recoverable. But v one still holding steady. And how many times maybe have we seen oh, vulnerability not quite there just yet. Is one star still available? Physic. And hang out towards heaven. Finds that kill on the thief as he swings around completely unexpected. Now Penny. The spike in hand, 30 seconds to work with. The lockdown comes through. This could be it. 10 rounds, make it eight. In magazine, as it looks like crossfire here. Leg shots through a smokes. The recon bolt gonna grab a bit of information. Deep to assume the high ground. Maybe finish off a kill there. Zephy's instead. As Scuba goes down, the spike gonna fall on the ground as well. KCP find three quick kills. Now Effies needs to get something done here. Shock dart towards the back. He does have some help with the player advantage in favor. Of KCP for the time being. Wall goes up. Whippy on the flank. Spots out. Scuba gets taken down before he can find the frags. Effie is forced to reload. Coming in around number three. Yeah, Sage Wall really funnels V1 into one direction here. KCP respect. 
in quite a bit. Spike Clan obviously full and V1 somehow actually coming out on top. It's two frags to follow. Oh. And another there, Scourge, only able to find a single frag. Now it's Odorous and Scourge alone. Odorous, well, he was initially considering the flank, but now with no anvil to make himself the hammer, he has to just group up this Scourge and try and work this in together. This could be heartbreak brewing for KCP if they can't convert here. Scourge, one pop shot, but isn't able to connect it. Odorous into the play, and they're just dancing wow. around there. Dealing the damage, it's flies. They're overwhelming their opponent, Penny, with a BM up and over the top. Shuts everything down. It's a no harm, no foul situation after losing that eco round because we're in round four. Everybody's got the weapons. The bonus round gone by the wayside. He finds the first vulnerability, gonna help find that frag's physic. Picks up one onto Penny. Now looking for some more. Finds the second duelist on the side of version one. That spike looks to get planted, but heaps of damage onto Effie's and again. No Sage, no heal. So now it's 61 health and stuck there. His Effies is he's got the ultimate online. The post plant is available. That wall goes up. It should be taken down. It's vanity to find the shots, but not going to find the right quadrant in the wall to take it down. And Gooba just sticking it. They try and send it out. So that means no more updrafts available. JMO looks to play on the Raptors. Is able to fall back before taking damage. It can't say the same for Scourge as Thief will steal away his life. Here. Now one player down or KCP as they work on the retake, and that's a pretty close angle. Scuba, if you want to push that, so right click the dagger, should be able to close it out. No penny. Repositions, look for something extra, get spotted out by the dart, and is able to escape. So a spooky spot for a second as two players quickly get answered. Back now, it's all up to Epi's just playing off to the side. Is he able to get it done here? The spike is ticking down, running out of time. It's odorous. On the flank, slowly bringing it up. The shock dart goes through. The Legolas impression, the classic versus classic as Odorous will find us here. The op shot goes wide. JMO takes just a scrape of damage for pushing away. The Empress popped here. Thief looking to go on the aggressive. Dark cover and attack through the wall. Physic able to secure the kill onto Penny. Now in a tough spot is the rest of version one as they've got five to worry about. Only two still alive. Coming around the dark cover, it's all up to Vanity who threw down the smoke once before. Now needs to give all the smoke over to KCP and just can't do it. The operator again to open things up, to close things out, and to find KCP a fourth. Yeah, I mean, JMO's off is just such a... Hunter Shuri, going to get more value than FDs was able to find earlier. It's a kill, actually, to make things even. So in the 4v4, JMO looks to find some more. The danger angle, it's Thief going down. Thief in all the danger as Vanity sits down the knives and needs to get out of dodge from the shadows used here. A 3v3 situation. We've been back and forth, back and forth as Whippy this time will toss out the utility nice and early. And answers on to Odorous. Scuba able to trade us back once more. Vanity. Shrouded step to get away. Whippy finds Vanity. another kill. Now in a 1v1 situation. It's low HP for both members. It's no utility here for Whippy as the tap comes through. Scuba slowly lurking around, but lurking to his death. Running out of time. Might find the frag, but at this point... So the Leer queued up for a second. It's the Paranoia. Oh no, Penny eats the Paranoia and Scourge is able to find a kill off the back end. So a bit of blue on blue there as the spike gets planted. Version 1 wish they could find that one back. The Empress online, but Thief immediately going to dethrone Scourge. Will back away, will stay incredibly healthy. As they find a tag onto Physic. For before is the retake. Looks to come on through. They push onto the site. They're unaware of Thief's position, but only for a moment. Oh my goodness. JMO sneaks away as they will find another frag. How is that possible? Finally, JMO will be answered. The ball doesn't lie as Physic stays alive, but only in the wind blade shower. Now, Thief, the lurking rain. I was wondering when we would see this and. Maybe quite unexpected here as the legs get spotted out and Penny finds another. Goes for the COD reload though, so puts himself in a scary spot. Only eight rounds down. Eight bullets, I should say, so we don't get confused with the rounds. He chooses to reload. And oh my god, Valorant is a horror game as Whippy comes flying up the <laughs> ropes right in the face of the operator. We'll find the frag. Now, Physic, it's just too hard. It's a flawless. Because of the play earlier, you know that nobody's really playing on the A site, so you don't have to use that standard wall for the plant. Instead, you can keep everybody off the site unless it's through heaven, and it was only Vanity who was close. And, well, Vanity, unfortunately, now six feet under. Penny and Vanity have fallen deep. Still low on HP and a 3v3 retake. That wall gets chipped away at all three. 
coming from this position and a nice little crossfire. This is Effie. He's going to find the first. Effie leaps around for the next and Thief to close it out. Only three remained on the retake, but that's all it took for version one to superior buy up. Ooh, a bit of damage. He just dealt with the frenzies. Bulldog getting will fall. This gets dangerous. Yeah, this is. Those frenzies are, are still pretty scary, as we can see there on the uh, the skyline. Able to find that frag and penny. Worse for wear as Odorous finds one with the four stub bulldog Effies. Only able to trade one back. That's the weapon ripped away, but picked up by Scuba as the spike gets planted. Another kill will swing the way of the V1 Sova. 3v2 situation. Not a heap of utility to use here, and you've got Scourge so far off the site. Recon Bolt can be shot down. Paranoia goes through. Sheriff shots land for Physic as they look to swing the corner. Effies finds another. Needs an ace on the round. He's pinched in between with 10 HP. Nowhere to go. Scuba to close it out. The fallen Bulldog in his hands is enough for another. Uh, too much on both sides here. Is that Empress is going to be popped? Scourge finds the first on to Penny, and you hear it calling out there. The Reyna wants more. Can the Reyna find more? As Vanity stuck on the A side all by his lonesome. Will fall to Scuba, and the rotation coming through is Odorous. Oh my goodness. Thief going to find a couple of kills. Not necessarily on the duelist just yet. As the Empress still alive. It's a 3v2 situation. Thief still up as well. Nice and overhealed. 1 of 47. Scuba ducks away from the shot. Is it? Looking to play some of this utility. Effie's looking to take the fight right to him, though. Scourge trying to find his way onto the site. Lear goes through. Deep able to tap the spike. Now they're running out of time. Now they have to find something to keep. Now Penny is going to have a difficult time finding anything unless Odorous wants to greet him on the opposite side as well. The Vandal shots ring true. Paranoia goes out. The near side is there, but Vanity not able to find a way in. Looking to trade the kill. It's the operator down as Vanity will slowly bring down the pit. Odorous has fallen. But is that enough? A 3v4 as a shock darts traded out. Scuba goes on the flank, has the shot, stops the defuse, and leaves it all up to Effies once more. This clutch, though, a whole lot less doable. Running out of time with 36 HP as a recon bolt, not going to find the tags. Physic so far off the site as well with Hunter's Fury in hand. The kill was swing the way of JMO and Mimi. Casey and gathered there. Still have a player. Effies going to be holding. Things down out towards mid. Nice paranoia. Gonna get the blind on one. That's the spike down. Scuba will fall as JMO looks to creep up into the tube. Scourge is able to find another kill. It's vanity to be traded right back, but Effies is there to answer back once more. JMO has assumed position inside of kitchen, and this could be catastrophic. No, it's all up to JMO. Able to find the first. Looking for some more, but it's Effies to close it out. Version one. They battle back nine to usually. Good for two as that spike goes down. The wall crumbles just a bit, but still enough to corral the rest of this squad out to the right side of this site. As the shots come through, they chip away at the wall, but everybody playing off the site here. All fives that Lear goes up. Scourge gonna go wide on the shots. Penny trying to find the angle. Penny will get the frag. Goes for the reload. Cloud burst to steal some of that positioning back. And unfortunately, right by the... No, JMO gets caught out trying to dash away, but the time is ticking. The shock darts are there. The Hunter's Fury, they're finding a way to hang on. They're finding a way to find the frags. Now, FBs, to try and stick the spike. Has to hold it. It's another kill. It's Odorous on the flank and Vanity. Just V1, they're on the precipice of falling here, of getting knocked out. I'm um, able to pick up a series. Th this is unprecedented. The KCP is getting this done. And in that launch header, their, their post plan is just so, so strong. They have layers to it. It starts out with ultimate to get the value. Once that site hit is coming, you don't really need the information. Now Scourge to take the site. Recon bolt. Traded out. Or Lear used as well. Penny getting spotted. Taken down. There's it from the shadows, but it immediately gets answered and sent back. Now they're slowly bringing up the rear, but Odorous is ready for it. Odorous can't find the shots. Odorous will fall as Whippy on 1 HP somehow manages to stay alive, but needs to do it for X amount longer. As the spike ticks down, they look to work together. It's 76 health for version 1 to try and hang on. Vanity. Full send up the back end of a paranoia. Whippy looking for something. Able to find a kill with one HP. Now it's all down to vanity. With two players to worry about what utility is available. A tag comes through on the...